Debbie and I were going to watch a friend race out at Lake Elsinore one day and we were pulling into the racetrack and right at the racetrack that's where they skydive out of Lake Elsinore and we saw a skydiver coming down and he was just falling like a rock and then right out of the bushes, bam, just hit the ground, scared us to death. So we took off in the sequoia right out through the bushes and looking for this guy who had obviously had the wrong kind of jump. By the time we got there, there were several people over there cleaning up a small parachute and a pack and we couldn't find a skydiver anywhere so we assumed it was something else. So I went up and asked what happened to the skydiver and they said, oh someone had to use their emergency chute and they've already taken him away, everything's okay, it's not that unusual. I looked back and Debbie, not that unusual. And they said, yeah, they had to use their emergency chute because the main chute didn't open up. And that's the reason we're just here cleaning up after them. And I thought about how many of us go through life and we don't use our daily disciplines to get by. We use a prayer, we use a Bible verse, we use a friend, we use a time like an emergency shoot. We call that friend when everything's going wrong. We open up the Bible when it seems like things are falling apart. We get down on our knees and pray when it seems like heartbreak just is gonna overwhelm us. As opposed to using it as a daily discipline. As opposed to building it into our lives and making sure that this is who we are. This is an emergency shoot. This isn't what we're pulling at the last minute. This is just who we are. And without these daily disciplines of prayer, of turning to God's word, of looking to our friends for help and support, we know we're lost. Just up the street from here, Debbie's mom is laying in a bed and living out her last minutes. It always has amazed me as we've lost loved ones that it seems to be beautiful days, sunny and gorgeous outside, everybody driving by, and just inside a room, so much. So many dreams, so many hopes, so many wonderful memories are coming to a close. I've been in that situation with family, I've been in that situation with friends, I've been in that situation with strangers more times than I can remember. And long ago I learned that this is an emergency shoot that I pull out in that time. I don't need anybody to come out and clean up after me in that moment. I go with confidence as we hold hands. And just like I just prayed with Debbie's mom, that moment of release, that moment of going home, that moment of knowing that God is waiting. Because Debbie's mom has always waited on God, loved him, served him. Not as an emergency shoot, not as that last minute moment just in case at the end of life. But instead, as her whole life, loving people, lifting them up, caring and serving, and everything she says and does. I've been so blessed to have such a wonderful mother-in-law for 40 years. It's been a gift. I don't know about your life today. Don't know what's happening. Don't know if it's sunny outside, but somewhere in your spirit it's just dark and it looks like the whole world is celebrating and you're being crushed. You just feel like you need to pull that emergency chute. And if you need to pull that emergency chute, it's okay. That's the reason it's there. Don't be afraid to get on your knees to open up the Bible to turn to a friend and that friend in a moment of emergency. But once you do, don't be afraid to start making it a daily habit. Don't be afraid to start realizing that I should have done this sooner. I should have done this more often. And then don't be afraid to be that daily discipline for someone else who knows they can turn to you, who knows they can trust you, who knows they can be loved by you and be cared by you and be dependent on you and everything you say and do. I'm standing next to an orange tree that smells glorious in front of Heritage House here in Riverside. And I thought about in 32 years of living here, 31 years, however long it's been, I've never been inside the place. If you've yet to find peace, maybe all it takes is stepping inside. Peace is waiting. Don't make it your emergency shoot, but instead, step inside and enjoy it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you're enjoying the sunshine, the blue skies, that good things are happening for you. Whisper prayer for Debbie and her mom, for her family. Debbie, this, she's the last of her family now, so this is not gonna be an easy one for her. 
pray for her in this moment. And we appreciate that kind of prayer. Um, make sure to share and to like this. Make sure to subscribe to this. We are nowhere near number one on the internet as a motivational or inspirational channel, but we are growing because we're looking up. And it's so fantastic that you're a part of it today. Be the miracle in your neighborhood. Be the miracle in your friend's life. Be the miracle as one as you see someone falling like a, rock, like a rock and they just need someone to open their arms and help them before they hit the ground. God bless you. Have a fantastic day.